guys, welcome to my channel, Craze Art. Today, I just want to share the work in progress of this particular yarn that I bought in an event here in the Netherlands. This yarn is 1,000 meters or 1 kilometer long ball of yarn. The yarn is called Scape is World, and I got the pink to wing color. So it starts from a very dark shade of pink and it goes through until the light shade of pink. Okay. I'm actually not yet sure of what will I create with this yarn, but I'm sure that this yarn will take me at least like a month to finish this project. So the reason why I wanted to share you the work in progress of this project is because I wanted you to see how handmade is actually being made. And not only that, but also like you will experience or see how I actually enjoyed it or struggle with it, the frustration or just being happy with seeing of what I am creating every day. And whenever I have this hook, I will make something out of it and you know just the appreciation of what you did it's like you already have that accomplishment so I hope that you guys will enjoy this video and I'll see you later again hi guys welcome to my messy table so this is where I create all of my crafts sorry it's a bit dark um, but today, I think I'm going to start my project. But first, of course, I'm going to look for a great pattern. And I'm going to search in Ravelry or Pinterest for some inspiration. So wish me luck, guys! Okay guys, I finally found the pattern that I wanted to make. It is from willmate.com and it is called the Bella Vita Shawl. This pattern is available on her website and she also have a tutorial video on how you can create this beautiful piece. I'll put the link down below so you guys can visit her. I'm so excited, so let's get the hook and start this project. Okay guys, so I just placed the yarn on this yarn dispenser that is also available as Capius. I actually like this yarn dispenser because it just turns around whenever you're working on this kind of yarn or any other yarn. Um, now I'm struggling because I don't know where to start. If I'm going to start on the middle, on the darker side or on the lighter side of this yarn. If I'm going to start on the light on the lighter yarn, then I have to remove this label and if not, I'll just have to start on the middle. But I don't know what will be the result. I'm also going to use the 4mm crochet hook on this project, so I am very curious on what will I actually choose. Help! <laughs> So guys, I decided that I will start on, uh, in the middle of the yarn and I also include a pencil with me because in every row I want to like mark it like it's done on this pattern. So let's start the pattern or let's start the project by making a slip knot as it says in the pattern. And it says here that I have to start with four chains. So let's do four chains. One, two, three, and four. And then I have to do a slip stitch on the end. Okay, so that's the official one. I'm going to do the rest of the crochet now <laughs> Do 
this is what the five rows look like already and now I'm gonna show you the 6 to 13 rows it also says you repeat row 252525 and that's the reason why I actually want to use a pencil so I can just mark like this one like two five two five two five two five so I don't get um, confused about it okay I'll see you again later once I am making really a big progress of this shawl so guys this is the day two progress of the shawl I only finished until row 13 but I'm already starting row 14 I was a bit busy this evening so I'll just continue again tomorrow okay good night This is already the 90th row and I'm already doing the puff stitches which is my first time to do it. It looks cool and I'm going to stop now. I'm going to continue it tomorrow. Okay guys, so I just want to show you about this puff stitch that I'm already making. Somehow it is making my work a bit slow because whenever I want to I wanted to pull the yarn um, all together, I'm also getting like little strands from this one. So like one or two strands instead of getting all of them together. So I'm gonna show you what I mean. But I'm not sure if I'm... Yeah, so it's like I'm going to do one puff stitch now. Two, three, and four. I have this little tension there and then I'm going to pull everything. Like, it's not very easy to pull it and <laughs> there I got it again so there that that's good then I'm gonna try another one it's like one two three and four let's pull them all together Nope, I'm pulling again a different kind of yarn. So. And there you can see it's not really easy to pull it all together. So instead of, I don't, I'm not satisfied with when I have to remove it. So I'm gonna redo it. Oh, it's like one, two, three. Okay, let's get all together. Oh my god. <laughs> it does I cannot get all of them together and I'm pulling another different kind of strand which is really annoying. I have to remove it again. <laughs> okay. Another try. So I'm making gonna I'm gonna make it bigger. There. So I have bigger gaps I think. Hope I can do it. Two, three, and four. Okay, I hope this time. Yes, I got it. <laughs> I've been struggling with that. So that's what I mean, guys. Like with this kind of yarn and puff stitch, it's kind of difficult to do. But I actually did one again. And but it looks very gorgeous if you are going to make this kind of stitch but it will just really take you a long time to to make it with this kind of yarn um, okay guys i made a very terrible mistake i did all the puff stitch but i didn't did the chain one so now i have to remove 
the, all of this pop stitch that was uh, that I was showing you on the previous um, thing. <laughs> so the work of almost like how many hours? I don't know. Maybe one hour. It's just going away within ten seconds. <laughs> My life. <sighs> All I can do is just laugh at it now. <laughs> there, it's almost done. I have to repeat all over again. Well, that's the last one. Ah, I'm gonna repeat. Okay, guys, please excuse my stupid face, but I'm just very tired today. I worked and today is actually St. Martin and a lot of kids were outside the door asking for candies it's, which is really fun to do uh, but today with the crochet I think I'll be doing a bit of progress but not really big I am on the 24th row though so yeah I think I'll just get some rest a bit because I'm really tired okay I'll see you again the progress for today I'm already on the 29th row and this is what it looks like already it's still red it doesn't change any color yet but it's okay I'm going there so I'm on the 36th row and I think I'm already on my 7th day of creating this shawl um, and I'm already busy on the 37th row there you can already see how beautiful the shawl will be and the yarn is already like this it looks already like this it already has a very big gap but this will take me like long time still to be able to finish this <laughs> Okay guys, I don't know if you can see it, but it's already showing a different shade of pink. So, I'm very happy. Yay! So guys, today is my 10th day and I am already on the 46th row. You can already see that the color is changing and you can already also see here the gap is already big. But I am going on my night shift, so I'll probably be doing um, not so many progress for the um, following days. But I'm still positive that I'm still going to catch the hook. So, wish me luck. Good morning, guys. I am now on the 109th gram of my project. And that means that I'm already halfway through. And I'm very happy. <laughs> you can see also here it's already like a, you can see already a big gap. I'm very happy. Huh. Making progress. Yes. Hi guys, just a little update about the shawl that I am making. And I am already on my 66 row and it already looks like this. So we already started of course from a very dark yarn and now you can already see already fading from the dark color, darker color to the lighter color. I am a bit behind my schedule because I didn't crochet for at least like two days or three days because of other different reasons. I was uh, also working so the, the progress that I was actually making with this um, um, just a project was a bit slower than it normally used to be. The yarn is already this, you can already see this, you can already fit your whole wrist um, inside. But this one will still take me a long time to finish it. So yeah, I'm very happy because of this little progress that I already made and I cannot really wait to finish this. And I'll see you again later when a bit of uh, 
of um, progress is being made again. <laughs> okay. Hi guys, so now I am ready to finish my project and I only have like two picos to make. So I'm going to do a single crochet, then I'm going to do a half double crochet, and then a double crochet. Then it says that I also have to do like three chain stitches, then do a one single crochet on the first chain of the three stitches then I'm going to do another um, double crochet and then a half double crochet and then one single crochet then I'm going to repeat that on the last one single crochet then oops half double crochet double crochet three chains one two three going to put it um, as um, single crochet on the first chain there Does it fit there? There. Then I'm going to do another double crochet. Another half double crochet. And a single crochet. Then at the last part of the stitch, I'm going to do two single crochets. So that is one, and this is number two. I'm going to close it off already. And there is it, guys. I'm already done with my project. I think I did this for at least 22 days to finish this. And I'm going to show you later the whole um, project later. Thank you.